started. All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar on seven keys for lifetime relationships with Eric Gilman. Eric is the area director for the Sharp Retention team of Cutco Closing Gifts, the world's number one branding gift. Eric is an author, speaker, and client retention specialist. He has been in his business for over 15 years and was inducted to the Cutco Hall of Fame in 2016. He is here today to share a cutting edge way to become unforgettable to your sphere. Yes, good morning. All right, I'm on, yes? Um, let me see, I've got a couple more things here. Oh, cool, take your time. If it would work, let's see here. My presentation does not want to work. We'll just do it this way. <laughs> Before we begin, I do want to let you know that Allison James Estates and Homes is a nationwide brokerage which offers 100% commission, 100% support, and zero franchise fees. Why split your commission if you don't need to? You earned it all, so shouldn't you keep it all? Our goal here at Allison James is to always give back to our agents by providing education, training sessions, live webinars like today, live events, and full broker support with the most up-to-date tools and technology available. We're always looking for new ways, new tools to be able to provide them to our agents at a lower or discounted price so you can keep your hard-earned money. I do wanna mention that today's webinar is sponsored by our preferred lender, Movement Mortgage. For more information about our brokerage, please visit www.ajicareers.com. And let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, please submit them in the chat box on your Zoom control panel. And I'll now pass it over to our speaker today, Eric Gilman. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Heidi. And thank you so much for the kind introduction and for having me on here today. And um, looking at me, I'd love to be looking at all of you face to face, but we're here in this environment and I'm excited to be here and share with y'all and add as much value in our hour that we have together to make sure that your clients stay your clients forever. All right, and then for those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet, uh, I'm Eric Gilman, I am the sharpest guy you know. And for those of you who had not seen me present before, well, let me just tell you, you know it's gonna be a great day when you get the knife guy showing up to your real estate meeting. Yes or yes. By the way, I know I'm just talking to myself. I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions. Feel free to shout them back at the screen. Do it. It will make me feel like less of a crazy person for uh, just talking at the screen and asking for questions back. But I have a special feature on my Zoom that allows me to hear you through your mutes. So feel free to participate. And uh, as Heidi said, put the questions in the chat there. But the reason that you got the knife guy here is that for the last decade, my team has been helping agents and loan officers. Shout out to Movement Mortgage, one for sponsoring this and two for being a partner and a client of ours as well. We've been helping you say thank you to your clients, but we do it in a super unique, one of a kind, first class way that also keeps you top of mind forever. That's a lot of what we're going to talk about today is staying top of mind, staying relevant and doing that by cultivating and deepening the relationships that we already have in our sphere. Right. But when it comes down to it, Right, 86%. Well, we'll get into the numbers in a moment, but really what we do and how we do that is when we're not going to turn this into a big knife infomercial right now. Don't worry. But we take your name, your logo, your tagline, and your phone number, and we put it on an item that your clients use every single day forever in the most used room in the entire household. It's a called a Cutco knife, and it's custom engraved with your name, your logo, your tagline right there on the blade. Like I said, we put you in the most used room in the household. We keep you top of mind forever. Don't worry. This is not about to turn into a 45-minute knife infomercial. But wait, there's more. But the point being is that our team focuses on, like I said, helping you say thank you and keeping you top of mind forever. But we're so good at that. And I've been doing this, like Heidi said, I've been doing this for 15 years. I started selling Cutco knives when I was in high school. And if you've never heard of Cutco before, some of you might have not. It is a first class in kitchen products. In fact, since we're on Zoom and we're not in a room, I normally say, hey, raise your hand and tell me a story about Cutco. If anyone owns any of these knives, we've been around since 1949, 100% American made and guaranteed forever. If you own any Cutco, you've used them before, you've heard about it. If you got positive things to say, 
do me a favor, throw a comment in the chat for the people who aren't familiar with Cutco. Super high quality, American made, used every day. You get it and we put you there in the most used room. And so our team for the last 10 years has been helping agents and lenders. And what brings me here today and why I am sharing why you got the knife guy on your real estate meeting is because in fact, we're in the same business. It doesn't matter if you sell homes, knives, boats, insurance, we are in the relationship business. And the faster and more in-depth you can cultivate those relationships, the longer and more productive your business is going to run. So our team will do 2.2 to $2.3 million in sales this year. I need you to hear this. I need you to write this down and remember it. Of that, 75% plus is going to be repeat or referral-based business. Okay, of our 2 million plus, and I know 2 million doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of realtors, it's a lot of knives. It's double the amount of knives that the number two team sells in the entire company. But 75% is repeat or referral-based business. And that was not an accident. And that's why I'm here today to share it with you. Show of hands, shout it out loud. If you would be interested in building a business that is even 50% repeat and referral-based business, yes or yes, am I right? And it's not that complicated. And the beautiful thing I'm going to share with you today is my seven keys for lifetime client retention. Seven keys for creating, as it says in the PowerPoint, we'll look here in a moment, seven keys for creating a raving fan relationship. Because that's what we want out of these deep relationships. So I want to go through these things with you today. Of course, answer any questions, share all these with you. I'm going to share all this information at the end. So feel free to take notes, write any questions in the chat. And of course, Heidi, I've got a couple resources. One's not here. Um, that I'll email out to the team. So don't worry too much about all the little things I'm going to show you. But let me go ahead and get the PowerPoint ready. I've got it on my screen share here. But uh, da -da -da, do a little screen share. Da -da -da. Um, Heidi, give me a thumbs up. You can see it, right? Everyone can see this. Heidi, give me a, a quick OK when you get a chance. I'll continue talking. Um, so we got the seven keys for lifetime client retention, staying top of mind forever. I want to give me just a quick, uh, yayo or nao that you can see my screen. I don't want to be going and coming, coming and going. Heidi, give me a, Hey, okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm moving forward. We got it. Yes. Colleen. Thank you. I can see it. Devorica. I love that name. That was a cool name. Colleen blissful Waylo, awesome beautiful thank you for being here and i want to share a quote with you i normally open with this um but i didn't see all your faces i want to share a quote with you and this is a quote that i like to live by it's from my friend and mentor a mentor to all of us jim Rohn. and what jim says is your level of success will seldom exceed your level of personal development I'll say that again your level of success will seldom exceed your level of personal development so I just want to take a moment to thank you for being here today. You didn't have to be here. This is not a absolutely mandatory come or you're fired webinar, but you made the choice to improve and grow upon your business. And I don't take that lightly. So as we go through these things, the beautiful thing is these seven strategies, they're not going to cost you your two most valuable assets. They're not going to cost you a lot of your marketing budget, and they're not going to cost you a lot of your time because those are your two most valuable assets, okay? So it begins though with a mindset. And the mindset is really simple. And we stole this from Mary Kay Ash. And what Mary Kay says is be more in love with your clients than you are with your business. And treat every person as if they have a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. And your job, as a business owner, as a friend, as a relative, your job is to be a detective and find out what that thing is. Make me feel important. Mary Kay Ash, one of the arguably most successful businesswomen of all time. Treat your clients as if they have a sign around their neck. Be more in love with your clients than you are with your business. Let's talk numbers though for a minute because they are terrifying. They're not great for all you numbers people. I'm not one of them, but I still love you. Here you go, okay? 68% of people leave their salesperson because they feel they are indifferent. They're just not feeling the love. 
That's across all industries. That's not just real estate. It's worse in real estate. Okay, now remember this number. This is the number. This is the equation for lifetime client retention or leverage right here is that five. Five percent increase in retention, meaning you keep 5% more of your clients, you can increase profits by up to 75%. Leverage, baby. And we all know this intuitively, or if you've been in business, you know this for sure. It costs you five times more to get a new client than it does to retain a current one. Now in our industry in real estate, the numbers are even worse because is there a lot of competition or a little competition? What was that? Yeah, a lot. So is standing out important? Yes or yes? Dang right it is. But it's scary because 86% of people shook your hand at the end of a transaction, said they would use you again. They said, thanks for coming over. You, pay, you stayed late. You pet my dog. I've got your magnet. It doesn't stick to my fridge. I get your emails. I never open them. I get your newsletter. I throw it in the trash. They shook your hand. They said, I'll call you again. What percentage of people do? This number needs to be updated. It's not 12 anymore. That was in 2017. In 2019, it was nine. Check this out. 2022, eight. That's what we call in business a bad trend. So our goal at Sharp Retention and what we do for you is we want to raise that number and make you a part of it. Because frankly, doesn't it make sense that if you work hard to get a client, lead gen, prospect, build a relationship, doesn't it make sense that they use you and only you for the rest of their entire lives? Yes or yes? Absolutely. Thank you. So moving here, right? Let's talk about this real quick before we get into the meat and potatoes, because these are some terms I need to define. Because some of you might be saying, Eric, I've got all the satisfied customers in the world. I've got 19 Yelp reviews. I have a person at the PTA who brags about me, right? They're satisfied customers. But what's the difference between a satisfied customer and a raving fan? And why do I have an ATM machine here in the middle? The ATM machine rec represents your database. What do you own as a real estate professional or loan officer? You own your clients. Nobody on this call owns realtor.com. I don't think. I can't see you. <laughs> Nobody here is the president of Zillow or you know, get a, a lead gen companies, you own your sphere, you own your relationships. And one day, you probably want to retire. I don't know about you, you probably don't want to door knock until you die. But you want that relationship base to pay you one day, aka retire or sell to someone else. So the ATM there, what are you filling your ATM with? What are you filling your database with? Is it raving fans or satisfied customers? Here's the difference. Okay, satisfied customer, they're part of that 86% of people who shook your hand. Look how happy they are right now. Mr. and Mrs. Jones signing the contract. I'll call you Johnny Realtor. They walk down the street. They hear a conversation about real estate. What do they do? They just keep walking because they're part of that 68% of people who don't feel the love, who aren't having you top of mind. Because as much as we hate to admit it, people aren't sitting around talking about the real estate professional as much as we'd like to think they are, or their knife guy, or their loan officer, until we give them the opportunity to do so by turning them into a raving fan. Look at this guy. Here's a conversation about real estate. He makes sure that that conversation ends with you getting introduced to that person. And I'll show you how this works that way. But I think you get it. Satisfied clients, I'm not calling them worthless people by any means, but they are worth a $0 bill in your long-term client database ATM. A raving fan, that's a $100 bill. So think, what are you filling your database with? What is your sphere filled with? Do you have a thousand Facebook friends who don't know who you are because you friend request a million people? Or do you have 10 who would take a bullet for you? Right? Raving fans for satisfied customers. I think you get it. Let's get into it. We talked about this a bit. A couple last things right here is what do you own? You own your relationships. A business is only as strong as its key and client and employee relationships. Okay, I hear this sometimes too. I give great service. That's my gift. That's how I make people feel special. Well, frankly, in today's world, when anyone can get on the mountaintops of their iPhone and shout your name, Giving great service is no longer a gift or going above and beyond. Giving great service is a requirement.
Because again, is there a lot of competition out there or is there a little competition out there? A lot. So how can you stand out? Well, one way that we found that you can stand out is to send your clients a gift. A gift can be many, many things. Think of the last time you received a present. Maybe it was a birthday gift. Maybe it was Christmas. Hope it was less than a year ago. But think about how you felt. Think about how it made you feel. Loved, understood, respected. Now, I know you might be thinking, is this guy just telling me to send cut for knives to every single person we know? No. Well, yes, subtly. However, it's not the most cost-effective thing to go about it. And there's so many other ways that I'm going to share with you that you can send a gift, that you can show appreciation, that you can make sure that your client knows that you care about them when it comes down to making the biggest transaction of their entire lives, right? So go above and beyond, send them something cool. Eric, what do I send them? Great question. Let's talk about it. So as we go through these things, our seven keys for lifetime client retention, I want you to think about, and I'm going to challenge you. Are you doing this? Well, excuse me. Have you heard of this? Some of these things you might have heard before. I don't care if you've heard it before. It doesn't matter how many times you hear something unless you are doing it. So have you done it before? And then most importantly, for all the business owners on this call, do you have a system in place to make sure it happens without you doing it? Because Brian Buffini says, if you want to live a big life with a big business, you need what type of systems? Big ones, exactly. So systems in place, all of these things that I'm going to show you right now are most importantly scalable. They can grow as fast or as slow as your business wants to. So these things start relatively simple. So again, if you've heard this before, great. I hope you have a system in place for it. As they scale up, we're going to have a lot of fun here. Y'all ready? What was that? Totally. I hear you. Perfect. Here's the punchline though. We've talked about this. this is the last one here. It's not your client's job to remember you, okay? It is your responsibility and obligation to make sure they never have the opportunity to forget about you. Responsibility and obligation to make sure they never have the opportunity to forget about you. That's from Patty Fripp, keynote for Toastmasters International. I'm also a keynote speaker for Toastmasters as well. And I have a charity project I'll share with you before the end of the call here. Please remind me. Uh, it's pretty exciting, but I don't want to get too distracted here. Let's go. Number one, what do you own as a realtor or lender? We talked about this. Right, your database. You own your people, your relationships. But at Sharp Retention, at Cutco and our team, when you purchase gifts from us, you don't go into a database. It might sound a little silly at first, but you go into our people base. Because you are not data to us. You are a person with goals, dreams, aspiring things you want to do, challenges and tribulations, families, places you want to go and things you want to see, things you love and things you want to do. Is that an address, a phone number, and an email? Sure, that's part of it. But the more you start falling in love with your clients over the number of door knocks, the number of phone calls, and the number of people you need to touch every day, the more you start cultivating those relationships the longer your business is going to grow. It's going from a hunting mentality to a cultivating and farming mentality. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're new on this call, if you're new to real estate, if you're still building your business, you got to stay hungry. You got to hunt and you got to do the thing. But that doesn't mean you can't start implementing these things. It also means that sooner rather than later, you can't hunt forever. What changed human history when we started farming? Now, I'm not talking about farming your neighborhood. I'm talking about cultivating your crops, cultivating your people. So it starts with being organized. It's really simple right here. Number one, have an organized CRM. And you must call upon it. Must call upon it, not should. Don't should all over yourself, as Tony Robbins says. Must to add value. What does that mean, add value? Does that mean call and ask if they know anyone buying or selling real estate? But no, my realtor doesn't give that anymore. I told her, stop calling me with that same thing all the time. Call to add value. We'll talk about what that means in a moment. We've all heard this quote before. The fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. This 
at the bottom of the page, if you were to remember anything from client retention, this is the equation, all right? Write it down, burn it into your head, use it, repeat it, let's go. 80% of your future business will come from 20% of your current clients. I'll say it again, 80% of your future business will come from 20% of your current clients. Stop, listen, every year, if you can isolate, and isolate's not really the right word, but separate and pull out a different 20%, a gold group, as we'll talk about in a minute, well, you take 20% one year, 20% the next year, 20% the next year, of course, there's going to be attrition and people are going to leave naturally. That happens. But what happens five to seven years down the road? That's how you end up and not to toot my own horn, like a guy like me, 10 years in the game, who has a 72% reorder business, a repeat and referral based business. Because we take that same 20% and we start loving on them and we love on them. And here's what we do. Number two, this is one of my faves. Identify your gold group. That's at your 20%. Gold group, what do they look like? They look like little gold men. They wear black ties. They're generally followed around by other gentlemen wearing the same tie. I'm joking. Who knows what they look like? You might not have even met them yet. Here's how it works. Gold group is the fast track to raving fan. So a gold group client could be a client, could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a client. It could be the mother of the head of the PTA or the head coach of your son's football team or your raving fan who you know works in the office who's always bragging about the coolest restaurant in town. The point being, it needs to be organized. Does anyone on here, show of hands, be honest, raise your hand right now if you do. Don't be ashamed if you don't. Do you have a written down, organized section for a gold group. Well, if you don't, how do you expect to appreciate them? How do you expect to organize it? Organize it. <laughs> Let's restart that sentence. How do you expect to strategically appreciate your clients if you don't even know who they are in an organized fashion? How many times have you run into an old friend? And you're like, oh man, I meant to call you the other day, but I didn't because I'm not organized. I didn't write it down. Do it. How many gold clients should I have, Eric? Great question from the audience. 20 to 25. Okay, Sharp Retention, we have a gold client list of now over 600. It's crazy. First of all, we make a lot less off of a knife sale than you do off of a home sale. We need a lot more of them. Secondly, we've been doing it a long time and there's six of us. But the point being, start with 20. Write it down. And remember this, once a gold client, not always a gold client. It's not a lifetime membership. So don't think about it too much. Oh, I don't know if I want to send them this or do this for them. Put them on there. If they don't show you any love back, take them off. It's no big deal. But now a lot of these things moving forward, and I really need you to hear this. A lot of these things moving forward are going to be applied for mostly your gold group. Why? Why would you spend 50% of your marketing budget on 20% of people? We talked about it because those 20% are going to be the future 80% of your business. It's really simple math. So isolating or putting aside those people so you can strategically appreciate them and mold them into a raving fan through letting them know how much you care about them and how much their business means to the continuation of your lifestyle and your relationship. And then it blossoms from there. That's just the beginning. But number one, identify your goal group. Write it down, 20 people, put them on there, okay? And it could be five agents, uh, uh, again, PTA friends or soccer kids, or you can tell I don't have kids. I'm just like naming random kid things. Um, you know, someone from your school or, 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 or your neighbor or anywho, you, you got it. Number three, this is where things are getting real fun and squirrely, right? Customize it. Now, I was looking over here. I don't have it right here right now. I will email this out to everybody. I'm a little all over the place, but it has, what is everybody's favorite thing to talk about? Themselves. So we give them a chance to, and we email, and I'd show it to you, but it's, it's pretty basic form. It's called an all about you sheet. All about you form. And it has real basic information, like name, mother's maiden name, social security number, blood type, address. No, I'm just joking. It has an address. Like 
we want to know the basics. Obviously, your best mailing address so we can send you something cool. We want to know your favorite charity so we can donate when a time is right. We want to know your favorite sports team so we can send you a letter when they win the championship or a T-shirt or a I'm sorry notice when they lose the championship. All things we've done. Right. Find out about who they are. People care about people who care. Not every client is created equal. So send these out to your goal group. You can do it physically. We used to do it. You would actually send them a little gold envelope with a prepaid return envelope and says, hey, we want you to, you know, uh, we want to know more about you. And can you send this back to us and we'll send you some cool stuff. Um, excuse me. Now we do it digitally. It's way easier. Google form spreadsheet. We ask them what t-shirt size they wear. Why? Because we want to send you a t-shirt. It says best day of my life or a t-shirt from your favorite sports team. But you want to ask because you don't want to send an extra big t-shirt to an extra little lady. And you don't want to send an extra little t-shirt to an extra big guy. Really simple. Customize it. Go deep with it and get organized. Make this part of your people base. Remember, your people base is three layers deep. There is the data who they are, what they own, what they want to own. And then goals like what their next house should be, where they came from, what they can qualify for. And then of course, these things, what their kids' names are, where they go to school, where they went to college, what, ch what charities are a part of. And I'll tell you this, if you want people's attention, if you want to make someone know that you care about them, so and I'll talk about this briefly at the end, I'm on the board of directors for a nonprofit. Uh, I built a medical clinic in Haiti. I might as well just talk about it now. Um, I, it took as a seven year project. We built it after the earthquake. I literally, I've been there four times. I built this building from the ground up myself. I'll show you the form after. And then um, in three weeks from now, um, I'm going to ride a bicycle across country to raise money for it. The point, yeah, I said, you heard that right. Miami to San Diego. I'll show you the map afterwards. It's a true story. Um, to raise a quarter million dollars. So the, the reason I share that with you is, as you can imagine, as the area director for Southern California and board of directors member planning a cross-country bicycle trip, I'm a pretty busy guy, as I hope most of your clients and friends aim to be if they care to do so. The point being, if you want my time, if you want me to give you a call that out of just total random blueness, and of course, I always try and make time for people who are super important, but if you want someone's attention, Man, you'll get it real quick if you donate to my charity. If you donate to the thing that I care most about, you'll probably get a phone call within 24 hours. And that, that's if you wanted it. If not, it doesn't matter. The point being, give feverishly, give fervently, give often and as much as you possibly can to as many people as you possibly can. I can't say it enough, and I'm going on a tangent here, but we have so much. If you're looking at me right now on a computer in a house with a laptop drinking water, you got stuff to give. So always be grateful and always keep things in perspective. Number four, be a connector. Be a connector. This is one of my favorite things to do. This is how business gets leveraged and how you can change the trajectory of somebody else's business or life by connecting them with the right person. BNI, Business Networking International. If you're not a member, I look into one or checking one out or creating your own chapter. You should have a network of super high quality referrals. Being the greatest realtor in your area does not mean that you're the best at contracts, the best at negotiating, the best at showing up early, and the best at taking a picture on your business card. Like, shout out to anyone who saw the South Park last week with the uh, realtors, one of the better episodes ever. Um, the point is, be a connector, right? It doesn't matter. The point being, to be the best agent, you should also know the best plumber, the best HVAC, the best electrician, the best place to get your hair cut, the best place to get drinks before four, and the best place to get dinner after midnight. You need to be an expert on your area and know other experts in other fields. And if you're thinking like, oh, Eric, I don't know any of those people. Well, then get out there and start meeting them because they're looking for referral partners too. They're all looking for realtors who they can refer to business to. So get out there and be a connector. Form a high quality referral network. Don't just ask for referrals. Give them constantly. How do you do this? Great questions that I love to ask people. Hey, how's it going? How's the things? How's life? Hey, let me ask you a question. What is the biggest goal you're working on right now in your life? 
and they'll tell you what's everyone's favorite thing to talk about. Hey, what's the biggest goal you're working on in your life right now? And then here's the follow up. And here's how you become a problem solver. What's the biggest challenge with that right now? What's the biggest challenge stopping you doing, from doing that? What's the biggest challenge standing in your way from that? Oh, I can't find the damn contractor to do the thing. Oh, you need a contractor. Well, I know three contractors because I'm a master of giving connections. What's the biggest challenge? Oh, we can't get the financing together because I got this crappy credit from this old, old you know, house that I co-signed on with my brother-in-law. Oh, well, that's, dude, I've got the best credit repair company because I'm a master networker and I'm a master connector. And being the best real estate agent or professional anything for that matter doesn't mean being the best knife person or real estate agent it means being the best of all things and knowing and aligning yourself with the best around you. So if you need partners in any of these specific spaces, reach out locally, look, you know, to ask your broker, or your area, like they're there, they're there. They want your info. They want to refer you business. I don't know how much more I can beat this, you know, beat it in your head, but it's like, find them and be a connector. And this next one, this one faced challenges during COVID. But in fact, it was interesting. I, I ended up doing it more during COVID than I did pre-COVID. Never eat lunch alone. This is something you've heard before. If you haven't, well, you just did. They wrote a book about it. It's called, there's a book called Never Eat Lunch Alone. Uh, you don't have to read it. I'm going to tell you about it on this run slide right here. It doesn't have to be every day, right? It doesn't have to be every day. You have 20 to 25 gold clients. Let's start doing a little bit of basic math here. 52 weeks in the year, that is two lunches a month, twice a month. Now, if you don't have the time, or frankly, look, and just being real with y'all, as someone who's built a business from scratch, who has gone dead broke, making all the mistakes I didn't have to make and pulled myself out from that position, if you're sitting there thinking like, hey, man, I don't have the marketing budget right now to be doing even two $40 lunches a month, look, I get it, coffee. What's $7 of coffee in 30 minutes of your time when they call 48 months later to place to, to sell their house or the, to refer you to someone else? Take the time. It is your most valuable asset, but if you don't have extra marketing dollars to spend, well, then you can spend your time on people. Because again, what? People care about people who care. So just go there and be interested in them. Solve a problem for them. Do what Mary Kay says, make them feel important. And when they bring up, don't talk about buying and selling real estate. Let's say show up to lunch with comps in their hand. They're like, I need to talk about this house now. Well, then I, you know, I came here to talk about you, but if you really want to talk houses, we can. Let me do it on time. Cool. Good on time. And uh, I checked because I was telling Heidi earlier, this next step that I'm going to give you um, is really evolved over the last couple years for me to be an extremely exciting, um, deeply uh, useful way to deepen, I'm sorry, I've deepened two, so about twice in one sentence, um, to deepen your relationships. What is the easiest day of the year to make someone feel important? Their birthday, Right? There's no more easy alley oop slam dunk of a day to let someone know how important they are to you. But my question how many people on this call have a birthday system in place? Oh, I moved, oh, I moved it over. Hold on, I'm going to pull it, make sure I have this in the chat. I'm going to put something in the chat when I say system here. Hold on one moment. I'm going to make sure I got this here. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Give me, bear with me for just a moment. Technical things. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just scrolling over to my calendar and I'm going to copy and paste something that I'm going to show you in a second. That's how quick this goes. I just, uh, no offense to everyone on our lovely national call, you don't need to see my entire calendar. <laughs> All righty, we're back. Cool. That's how quick this goes. So their birthday. So I'm going to give you right now my three do's and my three don'ts for my birthday system for lifetime clients. And here is just, oh, this is my old PowerPoint. I was gonna say, okay, anyway, it's not that important. Look at this dog, he's awesome. And I'm gonna come off the screen share in a moment here to show you this the most effective way. Make everyone as excited as this dog. What I had and while I was off there is some uh, text message responses that I've gotten 
They say things along the lines of best message I've ever got. Thanks for making me feel so special on my birthday. Paragraphs and paragraphs. And what's even cooler is how many of these birthday messages I've sent utilizing Facebook and have been the next message have been, hey, man, I need to place an order. Hey, man, I got I to gotta get another set of knives, right? And I'm not saying, oh, if you do this, all of a sudden people are going to call you the next day to sell their home. But you'll see how important are you making them feel. So the three do's and the three don'ts. You're going to use Facebook as your friend here. Don't worry, this is not going to turn into some talk about a millennial telling you you need to get on Instagram Reels and Facebook Lives and all these different things. Look, I'm a pretty technologically illiterate millennial, so even if you're not with it, we're all going to end this together. We're all going to do great. This is super, 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 super simple stuff. Okay, so every single day, Facebook is going to be your friend, and they're going to tell you whose birthday it is. It's right there on the right-hand side of everybody's homepage. You scroll down a little, it says today's birthdays. You click on that. Remember that 80-20 rule, okay? 80% of your future business will come from 20% of your current clients. The majority of people are going to get step one, which is the first do, which is to send them a generic message. And the message is, I'm going to put it in the chat right here. It says, happy birthday, blank. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and you make this year your best one yet. Click, send, simple. Take a moment. 12 to 15 seconds to let this person know that you give a damn about them on the day they came into the universe. And if, if what I just did is too much effort, well then delete that person as a friend, because what are you doing? Like, what are you trying to keep in touch with someone who you care so minimally about, about that you're not willing to copy and paste two seconds and send it to them. And then the next year, and I, well, what do you do the next year? I send something like this. So a cool picture. And this is where I recommend you get creative. It's a picture of a spreader with a cake and it says happy birthday on there. Do something with your business. You could be standing in front of a house with a big sign that says happy birthday. That's you. There's a house. There's the caring. It's really that simple. You could do a different one every year in front of a different house. It takes you 45 minutes to take a picture in front of a house and send it to every single one of your clients on the most important day of their damn life deep in the relationships. Now, here's where it gets fun. This is where you, those, those get thanks, appreciate it, thumbs up, or they just don't respond. I think it's interesting how many people, you do this for years, right? I've done this for three years now. And how many people I've sent, you know, three messages to with no response or nothing on, nothing on my birthday, which hey, everyone's doing their thing, not a big deal. That's probably why I didn't do step two, which is the most fun, which is send a video. You got to send a birthday video. Send a birthday video right? And send it directly to them. And it's real simple. You do it something like this. Oh, let me grab my thing. Cool. I'm going to, well, we'll do it here. You grab your phone. I know some of you might be thinking like, Eric, I don't really like doing video. Well, that's what the world is. And they want to see your face. They want to see you on the most important day that they have, letting them know how much you care. So really, really simple here. You grab yourself a couple of these. I used to do the big noise poppers, but those are unsustainable and they're an environmental nightmare. There's plastic all over the place every day. So these, they're just, you know, take them with you. Mine are squished because I travel with these. Yes, I do travel and you'll get a kick out of it, but I'm going to show you the video and then we'll talk more about it. I'm going to do an example of one right here. I'll do it for Heidi. You got the camera. Boom. <laughs> Happy birthday, Heidi. Hey there. Just want to take a quick moment. And actually, no, I'm going to give you, I just added this. I'm going to give you the real deal. Happy birthday, Heidi! Little hype button. I just want to take a quick moment and congratulate you here on another rotation around the sun. I really, really appreciate you. You're an incredible leader within the Alice and James community. Uh, you guys and your team has made such an impact on my life, and I really appreciate that about you. So I hope you have a wonderful birthday today. Do something great, celebrate you, and I hope this year is your best one yet. Happy birthday, Heidi. It's one minute video. The formula is simple. The beginning part is always the same. And then, you know, happy birthday. If the high, you get a hype button or get the things, do whatever. Do you. I'm, as you can tell, a pretty high energy guy. It could be real simple. And I've sent something like that too. I've sent ones where it's late at night. Hey man, it's 1130 at night. I'm in a hotel room, but I just wanted to take a moment to wish you happy birthday. I love you so much that it just makes you feel. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm glad you make you feel special in the chat. She said it makes you feel special. Take it. It doesn't matter. Hal Elrod, a mentor and a good friend of mine. He's the author of The Miracle Morning. Great advice from Hal. Give up being perfect for being authentic. 
if social media and this whole skewed up, messed up world has taught us anything, people don't want to know about your highlight reel and your fake ass BS. They want to know who you are and who you are as a person who will take a moment on their birthday, even though you're tired. And yes, I've done these so late at night. I've done them, you know, you'll take the time to, to wish them a happy birthday. And also too, side note, and again, these are, this has been added on. If you miss a birthday, do it the next day. Nobody in the world can be mad about an unexpected belated birthday gift. You took the time. It's your most valuable asset and people care about people who care. So send them the video a day late. Hey, I was out, you know, I was out you know, <laughs> doing whatever. I was out riding my bike or I was out partying or I was out celebrating your birthday too much last night. I couldn't hit you up or anyway, I just want to let you know you care. So it's never too late. And the third do is to send them something cool. So send them a gift. Now, I know what you're thinking, Eric. Well, it's already the birthday. We talked about that. You can't get mad about a late, unexpected birthday gift. In my history of sending, I've sent over 650 individual personalized gifts in the last 48 months. I tracked them all. A bunch of them were late. Nobody ever complained. Zero complaint department. Stoked. So what do we send? I'm going to show you a couple of things. The most simple one, birthday card. I like these. They say you're not getting old. You're building equity. If you're dealing with uh, real, you know, obviously a lot of realtors. This one's a thank you card. <laughs> and again, give up being perfect for being authentic. I have written a ton of birthday cards on thank you cards. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for being in the world. Thanks for being born. Shout out to your mom and dad. Really killed it with you. Have fun, all right? So the first one is a note. And I'm gonna, then we're gonna ramp up in the different things that you can send them here. These, and I'll, I'll put all these in an email to Heidi with the resources. These are called um, uh, tiny love cards. Uh, shout out to Mary Beth Kelly who referred me to these. Your potential is endless. Yeah, I don't like that one. Um, you are my definition of perfect. Um, I got so tired of kind of these arbitrary ones. Check this out. I made my own. I stole this from a meme. All great ideas are mostly stolen. It says, who's awesome? You're awesome. It's a pic. I, I stole it from a picture of a dog in that, but it's literally it's just take it. You can take it. I'll even give you the template. There it is. Boom. Put your own picture in there. Who's awesome? You're awesome. Um, best day of my life sticker. Best day of my life.com. They are unsolicited here. They are an official supporter of my bike ride. I love them. Um, put a sticker, send them a sticker. It says best day of my life right on the back. This reminds me of the day we met. This reminds me of the day we closed your house. This reminds me of the day you introduced me to Tony. This reminds me of blah, 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 blah. We make t-shirts too. that say best day of my life. They're $27. If you put the code Eric G in a checkout, half the money goes to my nonprofit. Um, that's my shameless plug of a very awesome, super high quality material, American made, 100% American supported company. Um, bestdaymylife.com. These are cool to stick on everything. I put stickers on everything. I'm huge on stickers. Um, I got these stickers. Of course, I have I Heart Cutco stickers. Um, these say like, you're awesome. You rock. This one says you're a peach, which I really never send to anybody because it's weird. Um, and then the last thing here that I have is a book. I'm a huge you know, fan of just putting knowledge out in the world. Um, so much so I did write a book. I'm an author of this book, The Power to Change. Uh, it's about making small changes over a long period of time that adds to lasting change in your life. I used to be a super obese kid. I got kicked out of high school, not for being fat, but for being a derelict. Um, and then I got arrested. All the things you love to call your mom about at one in the morning. So I wrote this book uh, to help other young people who are struggling and behavioral issues, suicidal, depression, things like that. So it's uh, it's on Amazon. You can put my name on there, Eric Gilman. If you don't have a book, that's cool. No problem. I'm not trying to flex on anybody. Uh, you can write one. Anybody can do it. I'm not an author. I'm a write. I'm not a writer. I did write a book making me an author. There's a difference. Um, if you don't, this is another great book. It's called The Mr. Thank You Project. John Israel is also a Cutco Hall of Fame member as well, but he's gone on to do an incredible thing where he wrote these thank you cards for everyone for uh, a year. And these are the stories. The point being, send them something cool. All right. The three don'ts. So again, the three do's and don't worry, the don'ts are much faster than the do's. The three do's, the generic message, the personalized video, sending something cool. Okay. The three don'ts. Number one, don't, sorry, I got a doorbell going. Don't write on their wall, their Facebook wall. Send the DM, the direct message, same exact amount of time, same exact amount of typing, much higher open rate. And I'm not just coming at you like, again, as a millennial, being like, you got to get in their DMs. No, this is according to Forbes. 
over, over telephone call, over email, over text message, the number one response rate in 2019 was Facebook Messenger. I'm just leaning into that. Okay, so um, number one, don't write on their wall. Number two, don't forget to double check the name. This is a quick system. You're rolling. It's time blocked. You've got it in your calendar. The thing's already written there. Uh, don't forget to double check. Don't send a message to Heidi that says, happy birthday, Brian. I've done it. I've done it too many times. Just take 20 extra seconds to double check the names. Um, and then the last thing is don't send a bad gift. Don't send a bad gift. Now, what is the definition of a bad gift? We at Sharp Retention define a bad gift is something that doesn't represent the lifetime relationship you plan on having with your clients. What are a lot of gifts that we like to send? What do we do at closings or birthdays or home anniversaries or referrals? What do we send? Wine, champagne. We send gift cards, gift baskets, stuff like that. I didn't come here today to tell you that people don't like the gifts that you're giving them. I came here to tell you that they don't represent the lifetime relationship that you plan on having with your clients. Because every good agent knows the end of a transaction is the beginning of a lifetime relationship. And according to NAR, our National Association of Realtors, the average person is worth 5.7 referrals over a lifetime. How often are the gifts that we're giving reflecting that relationship? And to be totally frank, after the last two years that we've all had, does anybody need another gift that makes you more hungover and fat? I don't, I don't. we don't need that in our house. We had plenty of that the last two years right? You eat it, you drink it, you put it on a shelf, you forget about it. How is that helping your clients become part of that dwindling 8% of people who use the same realtor? The answer is it's not. So the seventh tip, and as we wrap up here, is really quite simple. As you might have guessed, is have a gifting system in place. Yes, I know the word forever is spelled wrong there. Um, have a system in place. So Cutco, as we talked about before, it's really quite simple. Instead of giving wine and champagne, gift cards, gift baskets, your clients are just eating and drinking. And look, if you love giving gift baskets, if your sister-in-law is the gift basket queen of the world, keep giving gift baskets. But take one of our spreaders that says, thanks for spreading the word and put it in there. And so when all the cookies and the champagne and wine are all gone, it's the one thing left. Quick story about this bad boy right here. Our spreader is say, thanks for spreading the word. I don't know if anyone has this one, I would say show of hands, but um, really popular gift. One of my clients, how are we doing on time? Perfect. Uh, Mary Beth Kelly, let me tell you this story. She gives this bad boy out. She does it with the red handle, and I have one right here, but uh, our nice bright red. They come in black, white, and red, as you can see there in the picture. Mary Beth gives this spreader to a couple. The couple is having dinner with another couple. Mary Beth is not there. They're cutting up a turkey and the husband goes, sweetheart, we have to cut the turkey with a Cutco knife. It's the sharpest knife we have in the kitchen. And the wife is like, oh, uh, that is a spreader. Well, those of you who own this knife know, yeah, it is a spreader. It's really flexible, but the edge on this knife is extremely sharp. It's just as sharp as our carving knife. So they cut the turkey with the knife. And the point of the story and why I know this and why I'm sharing it with you is because that night ended with Mary Beth being referred to that other couple. People aren't sitting around talking about you as much as we like to think that they are, right? Because here's what's never happened. Same couple's having dinner and the husband goes, sweetheart, let's tell our friends about that super expensive bottle of champagne we drank one night three years ago between the third and fourth bottle of wine. Said no one ever, right? So give someone some, give your clients something that lasts because they're engraved. What does that mean for your taxes? That's correct. They're 100% tax deductible. I'll say it again, you can write off the entire cost of the gift as a tax deduction for marketing and advertising. So you're spending the money anyway. They range in price from $75 to $275. It's the same money that the national average is for gifts. So we're simply diverting it to something that lasts. 100% American made, guaranteed forever, used in the most popular room in the entire household. Every house has a kitchen. Every single one of your clients, whether they're a chef or not, they use a knife every single day to cut food into smaller pieces to fit it in their mouth. That's a fact, right? So the way that this works, and I'm going to wrap it up here, of course, answer any questions. This is a scalable model as well. So the way the cut code program works is we ship you out what we call a one year supply of gifts. So a year supply is different for every agent. It could be five gifts. It could be 50 gifts. It could be 500 gifts. Okay. Our goal, my goal, is to never overload you with gifts, just to have the right amount on hand. 
And then we take the total cost and we split it up over six months interest-free. Say it again, we split the cost over six months just to make it easy on the monthly payment. So you're paying for gifts as you're giving them out. Excuse me. We do offer quantity discounts as well. So the higher you go, the more the lower your cost per gift. They come in all three different colors and you can do different combinations of them as well. So I wanna wrap it up here, but before I do that, I am going to give away, where's my nifty nifty gift certificate? I'm giving away a free piece of Cutco right now. You have a one in 13 chance of winning for your a shout out to the people who showed up on this call. So I'm going to, first of all, stop my share so I can pull something into my pocket. Pull out your phones. Everyone pull out your phone. You're probably already on it. Pull it out and you're going to uh, open up your text message app. And I'm going to have you shoot me a text message. Don't do it yet. I know a lot of you have my name or my, uh, my phone number. I'm going to have you shoot me a text message with your name. And if put your name in there to get entered in the drawing, I'm going to give away $100 of free Cutco right now. If you want to take the time to meet, it takes 20 to 30 minutes. You can meet with me or one of my assistants on our team. We'll go through the program, answer any questions, help you review a gift order. If you decide to place a gift order, I'll even just buy you $100 of Cutco for free. And just for taking the time to meet with me, no obligation to buy. I am going to send you a signed copy of my book. If you do want to take that time to invest in your client retention, learn more about our program, and make sure that you stay top of mind forever, put the word sharp, S-H-A-R-P, like, wow, that knife is sharp in your text message. So I'll say it again. I'm going to give you my number in a second. Put just your name to get entered in the drawing. We're going to do the drawing right here. So just in a minute and put the word sharp S H A R P. If you want to have me text you times to meet with me or my team next week. So my number, here we go. 858-255-1142. I did just put it in the chat with the instructions as well. I'll say it again. 858-255-1142. 1142. That is my cell phone. You can get a hold of me anytime. Uh, our team is always able, willing, and ready to help you out with an order. My phone is blown up, so you are clearly getting it. Um, as we've closed here, though, and I will do the, I'll have Heidi pick the number for the drawing. We've got about four minutes left. Um, I will leave you with this final quote, answer it to any uh, QA, but I'll just share this with you from my friend, and I'll leave you with this thought as well. But, you know, what are you building? What are you doing here? Why are you here because you want to sell a home next month or you want to retire from real estate in 10 years with a massive portfolio? What's your business look like five years from now, 10 years from now? Because what you do at 10.01 or 11.01 today or whatever time it is, it is when we leave this meeting will define where you end up. So it starts right now. And I'll leave you with this quote from my good friend, New York Times bestselling author and uh, an incredible dude, Hal Elrod. You are where you are in life because of the choices you made in the past, but where you're going depends entirely on who you choose to be today. My friends, I so greatly appreciate the opportunity to share with you today. It's an honor to be part of the Allison James team and affiliation. You have all my information in the chat. Uh, thank you for being here, and I hope you all have a super sharp rest of your day. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you everyone for being on today. We appreciate it. Um, any questions, any more comments, drop them in the chat. Um, and we need to draw a winner, correct? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for mine. <laughs> All right. Like, tell me who gets the cut co. All right. Um, I did, you... um, did want to read a comment um, that Kelly shared. Yes. I thought this was a great quote. Um, she said, a very wise woman once told me that no one cares what you know until they know that you care. There you go. Love I think it. that's that's the point. Now they now that okay, we've got let's see it's loading here. Ooh, ooh, a bunch. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and nine. Heidi, pick a number one and nine, please. So it's number four. That is looking like Brandon Scalone. Scan Scanlone. Brandon, you're a winner. <laughs> I highly recommend one of these in your life. They're on Amazon. Um, I watch on Okay. Anyway, Brandon, I will. Uh, I'll message you. You're a winner. And everyone else, uh, I will send you time to meet. If again, 
anyone needs more information, just let me know. Heidi, I am going to send you the all about you form as well as this power, um, the PowerPoint, but we have it recorded. So I don't think you really need the PowerPoint, but anything you need, I'm here for you. And uh, this has been great. So, oh, and I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring it up. You can follow me. I mentioned the thing and I know we have one minute here. I'm going to go back to a quick share. This is my heart. This is everything and why I do what I do. Uh, this is Eric Rides for Hope. Uh, I will be riding a bicycle three weeks from today. I leave March 17th. Uh, yep, you heard it. Miami to San Diego. Goal, quarter million dollars. Um, why? I built this building. I built it from the ground up. There was no building there and we put a building there. We built it and a lot of blood, sweat and tears, um, over a million dollars of donations. And so uh, next month, that's me as a fat kid. I told you, it's, it's real. I love pizza. I still do, but I just exercise more now. Um, this is the journey. I go Miami, cross ending in San Diego. If you're in any of these cities, I'm having big events and all the ones with dots on them. Aaron, you can give me lots and lots of money to go to the charity. 100% of the money goes directly to the nonprofit. I said that none of the money goes to me. All the, uh, the ride is 100% self-funded. Shout out to the Cutco opportunity. Um, yeah, so it's all Eric Rides for Hope. EricRidesforHope.com. Eric Rides for Hope on Instagram. That's it. You can try calling Eric Rides for Hope, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, yeah, that's what I got. So I, I would, I would bump if I forgot. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Eric, so much for that presentation. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being on. Hopefully, we will see you next time. Sounds good. Later, y'all. Have a good day.